Well, I can say happy Sunday morning still because it's not noon yet. So happy Sunday morning. It's December 20th, I think. And it's 11.36 a.m. and obviously we're in the car. We've got the house sort of cleaned up and we're out running a few errands. We'd like to get done today so we don't hopefully have to go out again this week mm -hmm. until like after Christmas, maybe. So we'll see how that goes. And I got an interesting Etsy order in today that um, my first Etsy order with an invalid address. So I've messaged the customer in question. We'll see what happens with that. It's also overseas. So she's gonna hopefully be okay with me um, making the sticker sheets smaller so they fit in a smaller envelope or postage is gonna be insane. So we'll see what happens. Um, that was an interesting way to start off Sunday. Anyway, we're headed to the garden shop and the hardware store and the grocery store. So we'll be back. Guys, it is just after four o'clock on Monday, December 21st, I think. I know it's late in the day, right? I have been busy today and the cleaning lady is here. And before anybody asks, of course she's working for us safely. She's masked. We're staying far away from her while she is working. She's downstairs, we're upstairs. If she's upstairs, we're downstairs. Um, if we need to, one of us run errands, that one will go out of, go do that. One of course always stays home, but yeah, we do it very safely. She's masked the entire time. Um, anyway, I'm out checking the mail. I also had to send out some masks to my parents. They need more masks because I think they're giving them all away. I keep sending them boxes of masks and I think they're giving them away. So since I think that's what's going on, I'm sending them extras because that's fine. Just let me know. I still need to make sure my parents are safe. Um, what else did I do? I'm just gonna, oh, Wendy, Letty just left and she finished um, getting the house clean and working for the day. Um, and we were gonna go walking when she left. Only, I don't think we're going walking. <laughs> Everybody, it is after lunch. Let's see. It is 12 26 p.m. Tuesday, December 22nd, I think. Um, spent the morning doing a live broadcast. We did two pages in the December Daily, cut a bunch more snowflakes because I ran out. <laughs> um, and got all of that done, and then got the mess cleaned up. From doing that and now Bob is putting together some furniture that I got for Christmas for the guest room I think yep oh what are you doing dear Fred's putting together some nightstands yep 
for me for this room up here. We also got a a desk for this room because you see that there. giant thing right there? That's an old computer that takes five and a quarter inch floppies. And it's accompanying floppies. I don't know that we'll plug it in. I'm a little scared to even like try that, but I do want to put it up on a desk somewhere. It's a fun conversation piece, so. Yeah. Anyway, I think we'll probably go for a walk later as long as it doesn't start pouring again. And uh, yeah, what are you all doing today? Fun stuff, I hope. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll all be right. back. I got some painting done and I finally got the Moody River painting, I think is finished. And I'll put some pictures here from start to finish. I started this painting back in March at the beginning of the pandemic. Pandemic hit and I sort of got lost a few times. Anyway, I think it's done now. Uh, Bob put together, there he is, some new furniture for the upstairs guest room. Looks really great up there. And uh, yeah, we just kind of puttered away in the house on things that needed doing. We're gonna go for a walk now. It's a little bit drizzly, but that's okay. I'm not the wicked witch, I won't melt. I don't think. I'll be back. I think somebody lost a couple of balloons. Oops. Heart and square. Yeah. everybody. It's Wednesday afternoon, December 23rd. It's just before 1.30 in the afternoon. I've been painting again. I started another new painting right here. I'm actually using up some craft quality paints and I've taken a bunch of like colors and mixed them together and then I'm going to be using them at least for the base and beginnings of this painting and I and future paintings until I use them up. I do like where this is going. I'm going to work on a few uh, skyscape inspired paintings. I have two of these big square canvases and I have a bunch of smaller ones. So I think I want to do a little series. Um, I have some of the paint over there. I've used probably about half of what, what I found that I needed to purge. I'm not sure on the other half, that may still end up in a purge box. So we'll so stay tuned for that. Um, the painting that I just finished yesterday may go downstairs in the game room. I don't know, we're gonna do some rearranging. Okay, and here's the question for you all. So I have this Ikea cart right here that I pull out. It's one of those Ikea carts on wheels. It's full of the artist paint that I use when I'm painting canvases over here on the easel. And then I have a little table right there for the water and things. I'm not sure this set up these things and that are the best use of the space. What do you all think? Send me your suggestions. My email is down below and you, if you're on uh, social media with me, tag me in a post. So, 
kind of looking around for storage solutions. I do like painting in front of the window because I like the light. I like not having to always turn that light on. But I'm just thinking one of those large like tabaret style cabinets with a flat top and lots of drawers might be a better use in this corner. And then I wouldn't need to move this all the time. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking about, but they're really expensive, so I would want to thrift for something that'll work. Anyway, what do you all think? All right, I'm going to bring the painting downstairs and do some things. I'm working on laundry, you know, the normal chores. And I've got to get the crock pot out because we have to figure out how we're going to cook the big giant pork shoulder for tomorrow. So that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. So we're pulling the big guest room together um, today, finally, except for this wall, which I want to paint one of these colors of light blue. Um, but we're rearranging the, where are we? Art library and finished art cubes we're to put the TV up here. This is the TV that was downstairs, we which we never watch. So it would be better served to have it up here. We also have, how many of you are old school enough to recognize this computer system? It's not plugged in and I don't know that it ever will be, but it is on display. It's literally been in storage for decades, literally decades. I can't believe I can say that, but at least 20 years, but probably more like 30. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if it's capable of being plugged in. I don't, I mean, it would probably start a fire to be plugged. I don't know. So not without some serious TLC for the moment, it's not going to get plugged in, but we do have it and its parts and floppy disks and instruction manuals. I know, right? And that giant monitor. So it's kind of just a conversation piece. I asked for this desk for Christmas so that we would have a space to be able to have it out on display. It, you know, it's just, it's a fun thing to have, right? So anyway, we're going to get this cube situation straightened out after the husband gets the TV hooked up. He's looking for a part that he put away somewhere. Yeah. I don't know where the away, away place is, but we'll, hopefully we'll find it. All right, I'll be back. Okay, my hair was in my face, so it's up in a messy ponytail. I don't have any problem telling you all this because by the time you see this, they'll be back. But the kids are out of town, and so I need to go check their mail, which I almost forgot. We haven't been since Monday. So I need to go do that now. <laughs> and then check my own on the way back. And I've got to get the crock pot out for tomorrow and hopefully the pork fits in there or we have to cut it up or something. And then we're gonna go walking, then I have to figure out what we're doing for dinner and then we're gonna go drive around and do Christmas lights. It is gonna be a busy afternoon and evening, but it's Christmas time, so anyway, I'll be back. Yes, I have my coat on again. <laughs> So we did go on a walk at about two and a half, three miles, Fred. Uh, yeah, about that, two and a half miles. And uh, we walked down to Panda Express again and got dinner. I know, I know, right? It defeats the purpose of going for a walk. But anyway, we did that. And while we were gone, we got a call that Bob's mom hurt herself. She's in California. She's going to be okay, we think. But yeah, that was exciting. Not fun, exciting. And you know, I don't know what you ex we expect anymore. It's 2020, it's the freaking apocalypse. So anyway, instead of home, home moping and just vegetating on the couch, we're gonna go drive and see Christmas lights because we are making the best of this Christmas as we can, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go see Christmas lights. We're going to take you with us. We'll be back.
for him, but he's like taking his time in the closet. He don't want to be on camera. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's a lot taller than I am. <laughs> he's doing some of that on purpose. Um, anyway, I just wanted to tell you, as as does Bob. Um, Fred. Fred, a.k.a. Fred. Um, wherever you are in the world, whatever you celebrate, um, however you do that, despite COVID and all the other challenges we've had this year in 2020, we hope you have a happy one, even if it's driving around the neighborhood looking at lights. Right? Right. Right. Have a Merry Christmas Merry and Christmas. a Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right. What was that for next week? Hap well, New Year's is next week. Next week. Anyway, whatever it is. Whatever. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Whatever it is, have a happy one. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. All right. We're going to go sit and have some, t maybe some tea. Ooh. Tea. Oh, glass of wine. I'll have tea. He'll have wine. All right. I'll be hey, back. everybody. Happy Christmas Eve. It's just before 10 a.m. on... Thursday, December 24th. I almost forgot what day of the week it is. I don't know. Can you see all that frosty stuff on the roofs outside? It looks like it's starting to melt a little bit, but not a whole lot. So, and it's colder than it's supposed to be <laughs> right now. So I don't I still don't think we're going to get any snow, but you never know. Um, update on my mother-in-law. She is doing okay but because of her age and the type of fall she's at the hospital and we're waiting waiting to get some reports back but yeah we'll see anyway we've got a giant pork shoulder in the oven the whole house already smells like pork it's only been in the oven for about an hour and boy does that smell good <laughs> anyway we are going to just hang out at home and work on dinner and wait for phone calls and <sighs> yeah we still have to tell the daughter her grandmother fell so I'm waiting for more information before we do that so anyway I'll be I back not to scare Bambi away but I guess I did anyways she was over here eating lunch I'm sure she hasn't gone very far she's been hanging out all morning waiting for us to put corn out which we did and apples anyway it's been quite the 24 hours. Um, as I said earlier, Bob's mom um, fell. Yeah, I don't know if I said exactly what happened. She fell at her house yesterday, last night. She broke her hip. She's, as we speak, having surgery. Uh, she is 92 years old and she has just recovered from COVID. So she is one tough woman of all confidence. She can make it through this, but some prayers for a Good speedy recovery are most welcome, please. And yeah, holy cow, is 2020 over yet? Cause yeah, I've had enough of this year. I don't know about you all. say good morning but it's like 2 30 in the afternoon so that won't work but merry christmas everybody or happy holidays if you don't celebrate christmas we are home alone today just the two of us we did christmas presents this morning and that was a lot of fun got a lot of things we both wanted pretty much everything on our list which is great doesn't happen every year but love that um if you see, are seeing this clip you also saw a clip of me having a zoom christmas uh, with my family and Bob was on <laughs> we were on two different couches with two different iPads that was interesting but anyway um, we're going for a walk now it's a little bit drizzly but not too bad and try to get some steps in after overeating too much last night with Jenny and Brian and drinking too much and all the things so <laughs> we're gonna go get some exercise I've already done today's journal pages and uh, daily doodle and all the things. So 
yeah, let's go get some steps in and see what we can see. I'll be back. When we were out walking, we walked by the King City Community Park, which we do a lot. And they have a free library book box thing um, in at the edge of the park, which we always stop and look at. And every now and then I see something um, that I can take or I will sometimes go thrifting and buy a bunch of kids books and go on purpose to go leave in the box. This time I found a little bag of all of these sticker flakes. And these are some cute, yeah, these are cute. I'll be using these in my, my journals, on the covers of my journals all over the place. So glad I found them. Can't do that right now, but yeah. So, um, I love it. I can't believe, no, there's an antique shop near here that sells some things like this. They're expensive. They're as much as $3 a piece. Look how many I found. Yeah, so happy. Yay, Merry Christmas to me. All right, I'll be Morning, back. people. It is Friday, uh, Friday. Yeah, yeah, it's Saturday. Uh, it's the year of Mondays. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> it's Saturday morning, 10.28, uh, 10.29 a.m., December 26th, the day after Christmas. We are getting ready to go run a few errands and take some donations and... Um, I just got done sorting them in the back of the car and sorting some trash and that sort of thing as one does post Christmas. <laughs> um, so anyway, the kitchen's pretty much cleaned up. Um, our adopted kids uh, brought us some flowers, um, which are beautiful. I do think I'm gonna pluck some of them out later this afternoon and press them in a book. I know, because they're just, they're pretty. They'd be pretty on the journal page. So anyway, um, yeah, I've got to go check on the P.O. box. I've got to take the donations in. We need a couple of groceries, um, like normal food, not sweets or cake <laughs> and uh, stuff like that. So we're going to go get all that done and take you with us as we can and I'll be back. So I will say welcome to a typical day in Oregon. It's cloudy and rainy and yet obnoxiously sunny to where you need your sunglasses all at the same time. Yeah, welcome to our world. Yep. And it's rainy out. Yeah. Hey guys, it is 9.30 or something. I don't know, Saturday the 26th of December. I don't know, I just finished my daily drawing um, journal page thing and doing all the posts on social media for the evening. So I thought I'd come upstairs and close the vlog. Um, computers finally off for the day and that sort of thing. We went to Ikea today, as you all probably know, because I've probably already said, uh, first time in about a year, I think. I have ordered some things from there during the pandemic, which takes so long. It took two and a half months to get, where is it, the pegboard for the wall back there. Um, it was a crazy amount of time. Anyway, um, it wasn't very people -y, not like a normal Ikea day, Saturday. Um, it wasn't, wasn't too bad. Uh, they had a queue, a line, so you had to be six feet apart. There were marks all over the ground. The registers are all cordoned off with plastic and sheeting and everybody's in PPE and the surprising yet not surprising thing is the uh, lack of inventory and the supply chain issues they're having because me, of course, I'm chatty Kathy and so I'm talking to people and looking for things and they're just not getting the supplies and the shipments that they were getting because of the pandemic, because of international shipping issues and all of the things for the things because of the year of Mondays. So anyway, yeah, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, it's been quite a week. It's been an interesting Christmas. That's for sure. Uh, my mother-in-law, um, for those, um, if you've watched it this far, then you know she got hurt, um, at Christmas time and she ended up having surgery 
but she's recovering nicely. She is 92 and she's a tough old lady. And um, she's very annoyed because she's not in control basically. So that means she's doing just fine. <laughs> Betty, we wish you well. So all of you send your good thoughts and energy out to her. I know she could use it. She is 92 years old. So, you know, it's never fun no matter your age to have to be in the hospital and get surgery and but especially when you're 92 and at Christmas time, right? Anyway, so it's been a fun one. <laughs> uh, is the year over yet? Holy crap. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you and yours had a happy holiday, whatever holiday you celebrate, and that we try to go forward in kindness, kindness, and thinking about others more than ourselves. I think right now in this time of the pandemic, we need to do some of that because I think we're all forgetting about that. Anyway, personal opinion. You don't have to agree with me and that's okay. Um, please, if you can, support the free content here on YouTube and in the Facebook art groups, not just mine. Yes, if you want to support mine, I appreciate that. There's lots of ways to do it. Look in the video description. There's Patreon, YouTube membership, and all of you guys shop in my Etsy shop. There's a link tree list of links down below. It'll, when you click on it, it'll give you my Instagram link if you want to follow me over there and like all kinds of stuff. But if you have, have a favorite content creator, or favorite artist that you follow in either YouTube um, or Facebook, um, I know they would appreciate your support. If you can't figure out how to do that because there's nothing in their video descriptions, ask them. Maybe they've got an online shop, maybe they've got a Patreon, something, ask. I would appreciate if you do that to somebody, yeah? All right, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.